Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 69 of Last FIFA 14 and yesterday the final games of the group stages at the World Cup was played and that means group G and H are now finished so we are going to build a squad around the gold scorers in those two groups as well and uh, we sold on a few players from yesterday's squad and then we got ready to build the new team. Now this time around we could get a 5 star skiller into the squad, of course Ronaldo also getting a gold, he's a little bit too expensive but Nani also got a gold so get him into the squad. And then we have a lot of possibilities of linking different players together because we have some players from the US playing in the Bundesliga. They can link nicely up with some of the German goal scorers. And then we have Fela Ini who links nicely up with... Um Nicely up with Nani and Fellini, of course, gotten a goal as well. So this time around, I could actually build a squad with a total of eight goal scorers. It's only the goalkeeper and the and the, the right back and left back who hadn't gotten a goal in the World Cup. Apart from that, every single player in the squad have scored at the World Cup. So yeah, this time around, it was really, really simple to build the squad, which was nice. And uh, we could build a quite a solid team as well, a strong midfield as well this time around. And uh, this is the team. In goal, we do have Howard, and uh, he got some really good stats on his second in form. I think he got it for playing really well at the World Cup, which he has done indeed, been been performing really well for USA. Then we've got Brooks who scored that late header against Ghana in USA's opening game and if he hadn't gotten that goal, USA wouldn't have been through now. So, an important winner there. And uh, yeah, solid center back there. Good all-round stats for Silva. Then we got Vertonghen who scored a goal yesterday. I guess he played on the left back there, but uh, yeah, he got a goal and uh, it was a rebound but we'll take that. we get him in to the defense and then on the right back uh, we got Reiser, I think it is pronounced. Uh, he is not that outstanding but he's mainly there for chemistry reasons. Left back we got Clute, another player who's only there for the chemistry reason and that is to link up with Dempsey. Give Dempsey that strong link so he is in the uh, full chemistry and uh, on the center mid we got Jones who scored a beautiful goal against the Portugal and his stats are just really good. He's quick and he's strong. Got good defending stats and all around solid stats as well so a very solid defending player in the midfield in my opinion. Then we've got Fellaini on the other center mid, scored that header against Algeria, I believe it was 2-1-1 something like that and uh, yeah he is into the midfield as well and yeah he's just a solid player, also a bit of a defending player like Jones and then for the attack in the midfield we got a good set. Uh, got a goal against Ghana, I believe it was, and uh, he's quite fast, got really good dribbling, passing as well, and then on the right when we are playing Nani for the five-star skills, it was not exactly a good goal he scored against USA, but he got a goal at the World Cup, and I wanted to play with a five-star skiller, so we got him into the side on the right wing. On the left wing, we have Dempsey, gotten two goals for USA, two quite important goals, I'd say, and... Um, yeah, he's in on the left wing, got very good shooting, he got the long shot trade as well and maybe we can score some cool goals with him. And the final player of the squad, which is, um, well, which is the, I guess, the tournament top scorer alongside with Messi and, uh, and Neymar, that is Müller. And uh, he's been playing really well for uh, for Germany, he, he's just a goal scorer, he's all right, always on the right always in the right place at the right time and uh, yeah good stats on him on his man of the match card 88 shooting good passing dribbling pace just all around very solid stats and we'll see if we can get some goals toward him the only downside to Dempsey and Miller is that they only got three star skills but hopefully we can still get some good stuff going and maybe Nani can be the creator for some interesting chances so we head on into the final I believe it was no the not the final the quarter final of the uh, Champions Shield tournament. We tried a long shot to start out with, but it goes wide. And in the 11th minute, we're on the ball. Miller to Dempsey, trying out a long shot with him, and it goes out for a corner. And from that, it's actually Fella Eni to head it on in to make it 1 0. And pretty much straight after that, he decided to uh, pause the game and quit. So uh, we get a quick win with our team the first game we played. And um, we got one goal with Fellaini. I guess that's where we're going to score with Fellaini, Fatongen, and Brooks. That's most likely from corners. Apart from that, I don't really see them scoring any other goals. But yeah, up 1-0 in that game. We got a win. We're into the semi-finals. This is going to be a tough game. I My defender didn't get close enough to his player, and he could score to make a 1-0. But we got the ball with Goods. So we'll play it on through to Dempsey. We threw out a shot. I wanted it on the right foot, but it was a weak foot shot, and it was saved by the keeper. But Dempsey on the ball again. Goes into the box, a little bit lucky to hang on to it, but he'll get a goal to make it 1-1 there, and we are all even, then Nani on the ball, a few skill moves, he takes the shot, but it is blocked by the defender, and instead, 
He will play a crazy through ball in the 84th minute. I tried to get in front of him and I got too far in front of him. He could cut in behind. He made it 2-1 unfortunately and we got one final chance in the 90th minute. Dempsey on the ball into the box but David Luiz was there to block it off. So unfortunately I did lose that game. It was a bit of a tough opponent to play against. At least he played very well. And I lost the game at 2-1. to one. So I had to start over in the tournament. Unfortunately, it was a game with not too many chances. As you can see there, he had 4 shots on target, 6 in total. I had 5 and 8, I think. It was just, uh, he defended very, very solid. But nonetheless... We went into the tournament again because I still had quite a bit of fun in playing with this team. And uh, even though there weren't too many chances with Nani here in the first games because the first was a race quit and then a player with very good defending, he would get into actions into some of the later games. And here we go into the round of 16. If it's Dempsey on the ball, a few skill moves out on the wing past one defender, takes on another one. We try out the shot for the far corner, but it's right on the key. And then Nani on the ball, he goes a little bit crazy with the Hocus Pocus into the box. And in the end, we actually get a shot in with Götze, but it is saved by the keeper, unfortunately. And instead, it's him to play a through ball, and Howard not really looking too good. He, he didn't really save much for me when I played with him. But my opponent made a big mistake, and I was going to convert it with Dempsey in off the crossbar to make it a 1-1. So we get the equalizer, and now he gets on the ball here. A drag back past the defender twice, and then he stops up in the end. Elastico past the defender for a third time. He passes it to Müller, a little fake shot across to fella Eni and I actually wanted to play a through ball to get Dempsey into an open position and he rushed out his keeper and that just left the goal completely open so we scored the goal there to make it 2-1 and Nani gets on the ball again a few skill moves past the defenders he stops up past them again but unfortunately the keeper could save my shot it could have been a really nice goal there from Nani and then Götze gets on the ball he goes past the defender he plays it on through to Nani and in the end we have a Müller running across and we play it along the ground to him he makes it a 3-1 that was kind of a kind of goal I expected to score with Müller because he's not the player who can score the most skill-wise goals. But here, I tried with some step overs. I was kind of waiting for the keeper to come out so I could, like, drag it back and go past him. But in the end, he didn't rush him out whatsoever. And we scored a little bit more of a simple goal. But Nani loved the skill moves here into the box. We get the shot in, and in the end, it's the rebound with Götze. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the skill goal with Nani in this game. We were really close quite a few times, but in the end, it was other players picking up the goals. Müller got one, Götze got one. I think actually Müller got two, Götze got one, and then... Um, yeah, I can't remember everyone exactly, but quite a few players from the squad got a few goals. Dempsey got one as well, I believe. But yeah, we go into the next game and we come up against a solid La Liga team here. A bunch of different uh, players in forms, man of the match and team of the season players. And he could just run on through with Vela here. Nobody could catch up and he made it 1-0. But just a few minutes later, Nani on the ball again. He plays it on through to Götze. But he couldn't convert the chance, unfortunately. But we continue on. Nani again on the ball. And he cuts inside with a few skill moves. Past another defender. And one more. And he takes the... No, he couldn't take the shot, unfortunately. Got blocked off just in the final moment. But Fellini on the ball. He stops up. Drags it back to Müller. And he will go past the defender. Take the shot. And I still couldn't get that equalizer in this game. It remained a 1-0 to, to my opponent. But then, in the 71st minute, Nani will get a go goal with the outside of his foot to bring us even. And, one, one, and then Fellaini with some step overs past the defender to Müller, goes past another one, and he will get another goal for himself, the third goal for Müller in the squad, and that wins us the game at 2-1, to one. so we finally got a goal with Nani, unfortunately we still couldn't convert the skill chances, we're quite close, but in the end, we went at 2-1, to one, a goal by Müller and a goal by Nani, and that means I think we need goals with our center backs, we need one with Jones, we need one with Müller, and that's about it, I think, uh, if we want to score with everyone in the squad. So we're going to the next game. Müller goes past one defender here, past another one. He takes the shot, but he hits the post. And on the rebound, Nani is not able to convert it. Müller gets on the ball again, and this time around, he converts it from quite far out in off the post to make it 1-0. And then Jones on the ball into the second half, fake shot in between two to three defenders. And in the end, it gets over the line for him to get a goal and make it 2-0. And we actually get a third goal. I was aiming for Fatonga, but in the end, it was Fellaini on on the end of that to make it a 3-0 and Nani skill moves into the box lovely stuff here but the keeper saves the shot and in the end in the 69th minute my opponent decided to rage quit and that is going to be where we end off this episode and uh, with the squad we managed to get four goals with Müller we managed to get the goals with Dempsey, Nani, Götze, Fellaini and Jones but not the center backs uh, in Brooks and Vertonghen so in the end we got a 10 World Cup goals and that gives us 250,000 coins. 
So we got 660,000 coins now, which is quite a lot. And once we settle on Müller and some of the players in the squad we built in today's episode, we'll be quite close to 1 million coins, which is nice. And anyways, guys, and this is going to be where we end off this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. And uh, tomorrow we'll try and have something a little bit different out of the last FIFA 14. And that is pretty much all. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>